Hello guys and uh, welcome to see my small tutorial on how to make an orchestral template for FL Studio 12. I'm going to demonstrate how to create a contact channel with uh, MIDI outputs pointing to it and uh, then finally route everything to Mixer. So let's start. I'm going to add a contact channel over here and I'm going to rename it uh, something like uh, strings. So this is going to hold at maximum uh, 16 different uh, string, uh, string patches. Uh, let's see, uh, let's load something from um, say cinematic strings 2. Where is it? Here. And I'm going to load, um, let's take the fun, uh, fall ensemble first because this one is actually 2.5 gigabytes uh, and I only have 8 gigabytes of RAM available but I do have uh, one terabyte SSD drive so what I'm going to do I am going to um, purge all the samples away from this loaded instrument so let's take a sneak peek to a uh, task manager as you can see uh, contact is loading stuff over here and it takes uh, around uh, 2.6 gigabytes uh, currently and then I'm going to use the purge just a second purge all samples and voila we are saving 4 gigabytes of RAM sorry 2 and uh, let's put some violence over here well because i just purged all the samples for from a full ensemble uh it takes a while to load these other instruments so um it would have been better to first just load all the patches which would have been faster since these uh, other patches are sharing the sa same samples as full ensemble but you cannot win always. So I think uh, just for the demonstration, a uh, couple of instant uh, patches will be enough. So um, let's load one um, solo instrument over here to emotional cello. And as you can see, we are hitting uh, around 3 gigabytes already, I guess. Yep, 3.5, I think. Yeah. But uh, Perch mag Magic, and we are at 1 gigabyte. So, next thing we're going to do, we are going to add some MIDI outputs over here. Um, MIDI out. And we are going to create um, a couple of configurations for mud wheel and sustain pedal. So uh, as you can see, my mud wheel is working currently as well as my sustain for a channel. But w we have to do the same thing for MIDI outs. So this needs to be done only once. Right click, configure, mod wheel. And the magic number is one. And finally, link to controller. And remember to click this one. So this basically means that if you have multiple similar uh, MIDI out plugins loaded, uh, this uh, control that we are linking currently is going to work the same way for each of those. So you don't have to make a separate link for each patch. So now we have mod wheel control over here. And let's do the same thing for foot switch or sustain pedal. Sustain. And the number for sustain is 64. Accept link omni 
and punch the sustain. So I don't have a portal, uh, sorry, uh, portamento for sustain. It's simply a on off. Now let's click the strings and um, you can see these channels are set one, two, three, four, five. So we are going to route this uh, MIDI out from por uh, four port zero. Well, it could be one, it doesn't matter. But the thing is that this uh, contact has to listen for the same port, so let's call it one. And now uh, this MIDI out is going to send to uh, listening port one and channel one. Channel one. Need. Rename fall ensemble. And now I simply make clone, 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 and a clone. And rename first violence, second violence, cellos and uh, emotional cello and the last thing to do is to uh, change the channel for each one to uh, point the current uh, instru instrument you are going to use for the MIDI out simple so let's try out first violence What's going on? Mod wheel is zero. The final thing to do is to get these um, this patches to point cur uh, right mixer channels. And that's going to be a bit tricky, but um, first off, let's click the output and use it to mixer within contact. So what we are going to do, we are going to route this over here. And this is done by using the processing within um, strings uh, wrapper so you can see that there are um, there are patches over here which do not represent the correct names within contact these are the default names which I have actually accidentally rewritten but uh, let's don't mind so what, what we are going to do um, Click output, presets, batch functions, and the first one, which is going to make neat uh, free configured uh, patch for a mixer. The thing over here, uh, you you should actually uh, remember to reload, or I mean, no, not reload, refresh plugin properties because for some reason these channels are not working stereo stereo without um, refreshing that's the thing I, I was uh, having hard time for such some um, countless times so refresh and what that refresh is going to do it's also going to read 
uh, what contact has on the mixer. So now the names are represented how it should be. So now we simply select appropriate channels or even easier we select only one channel over here first one and auto map so now we have uh, this contact pointing these channels to uh, one two three four and so on if we're going to well let's try it first pull and sample insert one first violin two if we want to uh, uh we have some uh, preloaded mixer channels over here which are reserved for uh, guitar uh, drums and so on percussions and uh, something else uh, you want to uh, assign these from maybe channel six that will be easy as uh, selecting channel six over here and auto map again so it's going to start from the first and increment one so now we would have um, number six two uh, up but let's go back to one auto map and now we can tweak tweak our uh, channels from mixer easy okay uh, I'm going to show you uh, my template on another video so uh, hopefully it's going to give you some ideas how to uh, how to use template for your own um, own composing and uh, yeah well I guess this covers the tutorial so hopefully you're going to get uh, hang of things and uh, setting up a new project, project is going to be easier for you. So take care.